Western Spain Television, as it is. The Ministry of Innovation, Science, Technology and Digital Economy has a core mandate to push digital technology in Ocean State to global standards which will accommodate research in technical education, upgrade of knowledge and adaptive skills in technology, as well as creating a form for community participation and empowerment in science and technology related ventures. The overall objective is to make the ministry a catalyst for driving digital technology and science acquisition to such levels where economic policies and programs of government will motivate the people respective of class to contribute to the development of Ocean State. How has the Ministry fared in getting its act from the drawing board to the execution stage? And what are the indices on ground to build this hopes upon? Today, Living Spring Update, episode 13, looked at the Ministry's performance in two years of Governor Demola Adelike's administration and its capacity to carry out his mandate, particularly in the area of using digital technology as a vehicle of innovative development in education health, agriculture, and youth empowerment. I am Tomilola Daniel, your uncle on this program, which extracts the sectoral performances of Governor Adimna Delike's administration from November 2022 to date. Like in other areas of governance, Governor Demola Deleke set the standard of performance in developing blueprints that political and career officers can use as guides and basis of executing government policies. The Ministry of Innovation, Science, Technology and Digital Economy was among the ministries that relied heavily on inputs from stakeholders and experts in several areas of science, education and digital technology. The objective is to foster accelerated development and the technical ecosystem that will advance the economic interest of the state using latest innovation in the application of digital systems to power the energies of youths and unlock their potentials for skill-based education. The ministry has been operating beyond the confines of bureaucracy by accommodating the private sector in carrying out the policy of the state government, which aims at turning around the economy of the state through investment in science and technology. The blueprint, which has moved to a second stage of execution, is specifically programmed to employ the resources that Ocean State has and is willing to avail. A key performance indicator of the ministry's capacity to succeed is a well-trained and professionally motivated staff. As a ministry expected to fulfill government policies that are science and technology compliant, what has been the response of Governor Demola Adeleke in meeting the targets which the ministry has set for itself? Mrs. Olufunke Jolayemi, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Innovation, Science, Technology and Digital Economy, said reasonable grounds have been laid to excite hopes and optimism on the success of the state government's digital development scheme and the creation of marketing hubs that will expand community-based science, technology and digital economy in the state. Are the career officers in the ministry up to this task? The Permanent Secretary answered in the affirmative. We want to appreciate the our amiable governor, Senator Ashiwaju Jackson Nadileki. They have been doing so well, especially for this ministry. When I came, there are a lot of conferences, 
council meeting training that the staff ought to, ought to have been going, but it has not been as at now. You know, it's when I came, when let's, let me say when this administration started that this ministry is enjoying those benefits. Anytime we put it forward to the government that we have a project in mind to execute or a research to uh, embark on, we are getting full support of the of the administration of the government in carrying out our activities. When we came, when I came into the ministry, I discovered that we didn't have a database of our startup or the tech community members. So we try as much as possible to have a database for them. So from our database, I think we have about 150 something about, uh, around that, uh, around that uh, number that have registered into our database. When we recently had a program with the NIDA, you know, it was that database that we fetched to invite them, you know. It gave us the opportunity to interact with them. Anytime the ministry have a program, we tap into that uh, database to know who and who to be invited and to be involved. And they have been so, I mean, they have been doing so well. You know, we there was a time we were at uh, Abuja to meet with them at the night concerts to discuss with them on the progress of Ocean States, and we were highly welcome and. We, we had lots of uh, program planned with the high concert. Same thing goes with the NEDA. I think about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, some, I mean, a team from this ministry also went to NIMS in Nabucha, you know, in carrying out a kind of project which they gave us and of fellowship to collaborate with the states in moving the states forward. We will have been to Ekiti State, if not that the commissioner there told us that it won't be around the time we wanted to go. You know, we are moving from one state to another at least to see what they are doing and to tap into, you know, the idea of what is going on in the neighboring states. The state, the ministry is already having plan of having digital uh, village, you know. Digital economic uh, village. In, we are here. We are going to have different type of uh, community, tech community. You know, in putting some innovation into the states, putting some um, technology into some other MDAs to drive their activities. The the the, the plan is already uh, on ground. So, in the next two, three years, I believe Ocean State's economy, Ocean State's innovation and technology will have been turned around. Gomi Nawa Ashiwa Juriri, Senator Ademola Jackson, Uri Adeleke, Wan Shedada Fonwa, Gege Bio Sishe, and Gege Bile Shay Joba, Nick Mili Ocean. Bugwa Wan Irumba Wa. Lati mu ipinle osun tesi waju nipa ti le ise wa ta ba ti gbe si waju won na ba wa tewo gba eleyi to ba ye kan ba wa fowo si won ba wa fowo si eleyi ti o ba ye kan gba wa ni moran won gbiyanju lati da wa ni moran and uh, ati pe ile ise yi olorun nran wa lowo lati ni asepo pelu awon oje wewe oni mero to wa ni Igboro, Ikmili Oshun, and the um, uh, database that is more or common at the place. And yes, let's say, only Kaluku, what all the only more each in lay, only mero, Tiwani, uh, and Fanny, Tiwali Shake, Mili Oshun, Lati, Nikon, or Cosilet, one city for Cosilet, Ile Shay. Iba kuba taba sini eto ta fe she to ye kan wa mbe ino ibita ti fi oruko wansi ye la ti mwa omu 
pas ce que vous avez dit. Et quand vous avez dit que vous avez dit que vous avez ah, uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, 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 do ma wa ni be to je pe o ma mu ipinle osun di apewa wo ni ojo waju ati papa a ile ise yi je ile ise to je pe o n sise pelu awon ile ise miran to je pe a eto ta wa n se ni bi lawon ile ise yen na n lo lati mu ise ti won na ti si waju gabno ademola teleke as dwell considerably on his determination to prioritize science and technology with a greater focus on digital economy. This is conceived to spread the potency of digitalization across other areas of the economy like agriculture, health, education, discovery and enhancement of human talent that were formerly neglected. The youth population that women is viewed to play major roles in this effort to make Oshu State a critical stakeholder in the delivery of a digital technological based economy which will stimulate growth and development of the states. Investigations by Livingspring Update reveals that the science, technology and innovation, as well as an information and computer technology policy of the state government, has been approved to unleash the huge benefit of the digital economy for revenue yielding project, from which government can garner sufficient financial resources to execute its programs. Honorable Maruf Dele Ayofe is the Commissioner for Innovation, Science and Technology and digital economy. The ministry is actually excelling under the under the administration of Senator Ademola Norden Jackson Adeleke. We've done so much, uh, unbelievable. We still have so much to do as, at the same time. Um, you can imagine in in chat, you see the ministry are totally there to block a lot of leakages, to improve the welfare of the people in terms of technology, capacity building, doing trainings, and so on and so forth, uh, to support the youth, uh, to support the youth, the women, the elders, and so many, and the, and the children, purpose, school purpose. So we are doing so much. And the ministry has been excelling because we have to do so many things. Uh, let's start from, where do we start? Recently, we just got asked uh, bills uh, the, the what's it called, the STI and ICT DE policies, uh, which has just been approved by the ESCO, Executive Co uh, Cabinet of our show state, uh, which is quite good. The next one we're targeting is a uh, startup act, which we are working on. Uh, it's under the review by the Ministry of Justice. From there, it's going for the review. It's going for the to the House of Assembly, and that's where it will go, it will, it will, that will be the final end of it. From there, we're free to go. And um, with the startup, it's, it's a huge thing. Um, the ministry will be able to support a lot of stakeholders, ICT stakeholders in the state to improve the, uh, their well-being and their capacity to be able to do major jobs in the industry of technology. Recently, we have a collaboration with NITA, National Institute of Technology uh, Development Agency. Um, we met about 80 stakeholders in the state, ICT stakeholders. Well, people, these are technology who have hubs, tech firms, and so on. We met with them, we were able to speak to them, talk to them, advise them in terms of what they can do, what are the benefits the state can provide or the ministry can provide for them. And it was it went well. 
it took a whole day for us to be able to do the conference like about two days but it was quite good Nida was there too with us and we were able to meet the stakeholders and it was it was glamorous quite good and we were able to promise them that the ministry is behind them we'll be able to do a lot of changes to the to the technology firms they have and they should not be discouraged and we promised them that in terms of startup act our startups is coming soon we're working on it as soon as the startup bill is being passed then we're as good as gone we'll be able to do so many things together so that's one of the things we're targeting apart from that we did another women empowerment recently they call it newit nigerian women in technology um it was held in the state under my administration which is quite awesome the women enjoyed it all the ladies women's youth in technology they were able to they came to us and stay here for three days and they enjoyed it we accommodated them we provide all the necessary we were able to encourage them and let them understand what is all about in women why women should be in technology the purpose of women in technology it is quite important it's not all about men 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 you know this life these days is we have to be able to do a lot of mix up women youth children men and so on and so forth and those are the things thirdly or currently we are doing what they call ai training program training currently uh, we're on the second weeks we're doing the foundation for like over 1,000 people, which is awesome. People are enjoying it. And the remarks I've had so far was quite awesome. People are enjoying it. They love it. And it is quite benefiting, beneficial. Even myself, I'm part of the class. So I enjoy it. Some of my staff too, they're in the class. And they enjoy the class. They are training. That's artificial intelligence training. I have 35 years of experience abroad. I live in abroad. And I'm, I'm one of the techie guys they invited to come and work in the ministry, which is quite awesome. And apart from that, in the next one or two years, we are just literally in two years in the office, and we're planning to start tech ops. We're going to in introduce about two, three tech ops, um, which is awesome. It's good. All those programs, they're not cheap. They're very expensive. That's why we should be pressing the our excellency, Senator I don't like Jackson, no reading and for his for his all in intervention in ICT industry. It has changed a lot, but though we are we still have a lot to go. And we, despite the fact that we have minimum minimum uh, minimal resources, but we are doing very well in terms of technology. Capacity building in this administration has been great. So much training, not only in my ministry, everywhere. Agri is doing well. Health. Look at their health. They're building so much. They re, uh, rehabilitate, uh, re, refurbishing so much health. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, primary health centers across uh, Osho State. Over 200, which is awesome. And apart from that, hospitals, insurances, 12,000 insurance for a year. For a year. It's, it's laudable. It's cheap to me. It's even not enough to pay for one month over there. So, which is quite good. Our governor is doing very well, and he meant to do more, you know, despite less than two years in the office, we're still ready to do more. Mm -hmm. Like tech ops, innovation and tech ops, I'm, I'm talking about, that's going to be fantastic. If you see the drawing, you'll be amazed. It's going to be the one and the only one in Nigeria. It's, it's a laudable project. This is a project that's worth over five, uh, two to five billion. Naira. So, and we're ready. We, we, it's just a step after the other. And we're planning to do that. That even when I leave the office, when I look back, I'll be proud of myself that I've done well. Those are the ones. Then we are trying to change a lot of things in our institutions, primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions. We're planning to change a lot in, in terms of ICT. The state, we are not that buoyant. But with, within our limited resources, we're doing so much, and we're planning to do more. And to to abandon the Tonkan, it's a little bit of a exists that are day. But since that time, I did I change so many things. I did she, I did train that when you are she, she. I did help state that like reduce all their outgoings in terms of blocking leakages. 
owo ninu ni ati wa mo se ma ko be ko ni da den pe akan da owo si ninu ko to ati training awon eyan lori sisi obirin okunrin omode agba dudu pupa gbogbo eyan lati train lori sisi ona ade ti biyanju ade to fe se mo le recently le da wa se oso stage ni pa collaboration a collabo pelu ni da National Institute of Technology Development Agency. And uh, you know, the one to pop. So, Rich Rich Tash, and the to fetch him more. Bill Rich Rich Lati, busy, you are doing as of assembly, you will to start up. At the shape policies, BG, ICT, DE policy, at the STI, which is science, technology, and innovation policy. You know, at the shape, and the to fetch him more. At Barrow Long, Colorado Dafoa, or Ogawa, Senator Ademola Norudi Jackson, a delegate, want to share a polo want to share everything that make sure you pay Ilosua, Ilosua Juwa in terms of technology. The Ministry of Innovation, Science, Technology and Digital Economy has not only keyed into the state government's policy of employing digital systems to power its economic projects, but has attracted the interest of private sector development initiators who are currently exploring avenues to push the Ocean Digital Economy to global reckoning. Bamisha Jai, the co-founder of Ocean Tech Fest, reaffirmed this commitment and the success that lies ahead. Um, there has been a lot of green lights from the, um, um, from the um, state governments. In fact, we have um, on our keynote, as our keynote speaker, we have the commissioner right, on um, innovation, science and tech. And we also have the essay to the governor on science, I mean, innovation, science and tech as part of our panelists for the event. So that in itself, it's a green light for us to know that um, the state in itself, and in fact, most of the sponsors that reached out to made us understand that the governor himself is interested in tech development in the state. We sat down and thought that um, a lot of the development that is happening globally right now, right, is majorly taking place in the tech tech space. And in fact, whatever it is that you do that you don't infuse tech into it, there's the tendency that it does not have the power to scale, right? So we sat down and we asked ourselves how we can position Ocean State, right, at the forefront of um, um, the tech ecosystem, both nationally in Nigeria and also globally, right? And we decided to create Ocean Tech Fest, right? So this event itself, right, it's an avenue for us to build community of people that are going to be in tech that, so that we can eventually leverage them to build um, the, the, the tech ecosystem in the States through trainings, you know, symposium, internships and all of that. You don't have any criteria, you just have to be interested in tech, right? You don't even have to be in tech yet, right? Because this event majorly, majorly is for people that are looking to transition into tech, and need people to give them insights on how to go about it and some maybe even inspire them to go about it then also for people in tech how they can um, scale what they have right to a global standard majorly the first message is for people to support the movement then secondly um, we're telling people to join the community because of what we are planning to introduce next year next year is going to be trainings upon trainings upon trainings right and will be most of the guys that would be um, graduating from our training programs right would be putting them into internships with companies that are global right majorly a blueprint has been drawn Summit have been held. The government and stakeholders have conferred and agreed on best possible ways to drive the digital economic policy of the state towards a successful meeting point. Crafting the process of this policy framework together is no less daunting. While the ministry is confident the governor Demola Delic is putting together a science, technology, and digital economy that will survive its administration. That will be all on episode 13 of Living Spring Update this week. Join us again for a fresh edition. On behalf of the team, I am Tomi Lola Daniel saying bye for now. Living Spring Update is a production of the Office of the Spokesperson to the Governor, Governor's Office, Oshobo. Be sure for